I feel like I stepped right out of like um a video game and I'm the girl that you picked to do your kung fu fighting. I'm Chow. And I'm Sangi. Welcome back to another episode of Zula Tries. On this episode of Zula Tries, it's actually right around Chinese New Year and we have been challenged to wear Cheong Sams for a whole week. I'm have you ever worn a Cheong Sam before? Yes. So when I was thinking one year old or something, my mom actually dressed me up in a Cheong Sam. What? Yeah. The design of a Cheong Sam is just so oriental and very unique to the culture. So my mom really appreciates it. I have to say right, Cheong Sam's really flatter your body very well. Yes. And uh, it's always something I've kind of looked at and thought, wow, I wish I had one made just for me. But I do know that uh, the whole idea of ethnic costumes and uh, cultures can be a bit sensitive. So today we're going to be headed down to Studio HHFZ and we want to find out from someone who actually makes Cheong Sam's for a living just what she thinks about these issues. Hello, my name is Jui Xian. Uh, I'm a dressmaker, I specialize in gowns and chong sums. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but in this industry for about like seven, seven years. Wow. Yeah. For Chinese New Year or for chong sum itself, people mm. usually see the colors like red, pink, orange, like a very bright color. Yeah. So, but you yourself are like wearing dark, dark shade. Color, yeah. So, yeah. how do people react to that kind of colors usually? Usually for like Chinese New Year or like um, even for weddings, people will tend to wear brighter colors because it's like auspicious looking. Yeah. But for like everyday chong sums, it will be better to like tone it down a bit so it, it won't be like, oh, why are you wearing a chong sum today kind more of wearable, reaction. Nah. Yeah, more wearable. Yeah. Ah. yeah. Have mm. you have clients who are of other races or ethnicities oh. who come and like tailor chong sums with you? I have a few clients who are like, they're actually like marrying a Muslim Malay. Mm. So we will want to like infuse the different um, cultures into <laughs> the chong sum. So to make it more unique for them. Mm. Yeah. I do have some people asking me like, oh, is it appropriate for them because they are of a different race? To me, I feel so long as you wear it properly, so nothing too short, too like skinky, I think it's fine. Like, I mean, you're respecting it, ma. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. And I know that you picked out some for us. Yeah. So can we go and try it out? Yeah, let's go. Yes. Ta da! <laughs> I love it. Uh. I love it. Yeah, so I can totally understand why Ray Sen said that she's aiming to create outfits that you can wear daily. One week Cheong Sam challenge. Let's, Let's go. go! Okay, so it's day one and I decided to wear this um, maroon suede Cheong Sam today. And honestly guys, I was walking like in the sun to the MRT station just now. It was so comfortable. Like I wasn't sweating buckets, which I thought I will because this is like suede, right? I'm actually gonna go for dinner soon because I just ended work, so. Let's go and see how my friend will react to today's outfit. Okay, so this is the top, Cheong Sam top with some white shorts, white denim shorts because um, still aligned with like the whole casual wear denim thing but it's white so I think it matches a little bit better because this is what's standing out right now. Also because I'm going out at night right, so then if I wear bright colours then people can see me better. <laughs> can you tell like what is it? I could tell it was a chong sum but like after I came closer. Right. Like from far it just looked like such a comfortable oversized kind of a yes. dress. Oh Not a little bit, I was like gimme, I need to know where you got this from. Yes. Everything is... Is, is, it, is it approved? I approve, double approve. Yay! Anyway, I want to find out what my parents think about this because just now my mom saw the shirt hanging on my shelf and then she exclaimed from outside my room saying, Wow, so bright! Really not something that you wear. Well, well, well. Here we are. You like it? Interesting. Why is the only comment interesting? Actually, it's quite nice though. I mean, hardly got chung some top with this style sleeve. You know, think of it. Either sleeveless or short sleeve. Out of five, what will you read? Actually, I will rent it quite a lot of time. You know why? Why? Because it is unique. What do you say? I'm just a bit like that. Do you like it? You look like a 60s cargo girl. <laughs> <laughs> For day two's outfit, I decided to wear this grey chong sam top and I was deciding which one should I pair it with the black um, chong sam style skirt or this grey midi 
bodycon skirt and eventually I chose to go with a grey skirt because it looked a lot more cohesive and more respectful for the chongsam that I'm wearing. So I look like an office lady guys, like honestly. It's so office vibes and then you can pair it up with a blazer as well so you look a bit more formal and this beautiful like oriental details just kind of add a little touch of um, personality to your very boring uh, formal outfit I would say. And then maybe for the night out, you can just remove the blazer and you're good to go! This is my outfit for day number two. It's the two-piece and this is from Studio HHFZ. And um, I'm sorry Raysian, I did not iron this. But uh, it, I think it still looks great. I also wore my white sneaks and I paired it with like everything in the yellow golden tone today. So there's the earrings, there's the sunglasses, there's my bag, it's also yellow. And my mask is a gold colour. What do you think about it? Honest opinions. It's very, very pretty. Really? Okay. Yeah, I don't think. Okay. If you didn't tell me it was a chongsa, I wouldn't have known. I thought it was just like a normal top, mm -hmm. which is cropped, but it looks right. perfect on you. Like, would you expect this to be a chongsa? Never. Right? It's like, it's so pretty. And it's very unique, right? honestly. I want one. You want one? See, everybody who's been looking at my outfit goes, I want one. Give me one. We will see how that goes. It's like a totally <laughs> different style for you. <laughs> different style for me, yeah. Uh huh. You like it? I like it. Yeah, but that's so okay. <laughs> so it, that's as long as you like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not only just for Chinese New Year, but actually for like other days as well. So they want to encourage to wear chongsams for regular days. Do you think? Oh. Oh. Right? Does it fit now? Does it look okay oh. now? Hey, it looks quite nice. <laughs> really? Serious? <Seriously? laughs> <laughs> what do you think of my outfit? Very cute la. Cute. Very cute, very bright and sunny. Actually yes. Yellow. I like the colours. For day 3's outfit, I chose to wear this quad set. It's basically a plaid chongsam top with matching pants to it. This outfit gives me like major Tai Tai vibes, okay? When I put it all together, I just feel like, oh my god, I feel such a, like a powerful woman. It is day three. I just put on the only Cheongsam dress that I have for the entire week and this is it. This dress right is quite long lah, you see? I really feel, I really really feel like this is my um, primary school racial harmony day outfit. Um, <sighs> I don't like it very much, I'm just gonna wear it anyway. So what do you think about this version of a Cheongsam dress? I think it's really cool because like it's not like a traditional kind of chongsam. It's like pants, which is very cool. <laughs> would you wear it? Um, I would if it was um, of a different pattern. Yeah. Something more simple. Alright, I have just reached the office and I don't really feel like going in now. Because I reach shy la. I think I don't look great. But um, let's see how people react. Happy New Year, Kate. I love it. It's very Chinese New Year feel though. What? You like it? Yeah. I think it's out of the comfort zone. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. I feel so uncomfortable, Kate. It's just once a year. No, but I don't ever wear like chongsams like this anyways. But nice or nice? What is up, Doreen? Okay, so what do you think of this outfit? Child, let me tell you the truth, man. You look amazing and everything. Oh. <laughs> okay, so the one thing about like this outfit, right, is that when I'm eating, it's so constrictive. So I had to like take out a button <laughs> so that I can eat. I cannot breathe. Then I feel like feel like a It is the end of day number three. Uh, I have to say that I was generally very surprised by the way people reacted about the dress in office. It seemed like people quite liked the design. It turns out that even the more traditional looking chongsams can still look nice, I guess. And it would be something that I would consider wearing on other days if it fit me well. Alright, so for day 4's outfit, I decided to wear the black greenish chongsam. And I decided to wear some pearl look-alike earrings, I don't know. Paired with some sneakers as well as a little cute cream-coloured handbag. 
So the thing about this outfit that I absolutely love is that it's so comfortable. Like it has really high slits, right? Which allow me to, <laughs> which allows me to walk very comfortably. And it's also not very warm, the material. And I think the best part about this is it's pretty traditional looking, I would say. But it's also very casual and you can just wear it on a normal day out. You don't even have to dress up. Day 4 of the Cheong Sam challenge. I am wearing this black Cheong Sam polka dot top. I feel so much more comfortable in this getup as compared to yesterday because yesterday was really a feminine child but today is more of like a boss ass child, you know? This is something I'm super comfortable wearing every single day. In fact, I wish I could keep this but I don't think I can. It is very pretty. Uh, it makes me feel fierce and I hardly wear dark colours but I don't mind this at all. I'm actually teaching them how thick the mask is. I'm not the only one at the Chongsam guys So I don't feel so odd And I'm so glad because people actually appreciate my outfit In true Chinese New Year fashion I am going to sit down with Mr. Mandan over here with some hot pot. So, what do you think of my outfit? You look very traditional today, especially like at the you know the ending knots there. Yeah. It looks like a circle. It's a like actual the chosam type of outfit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's what I meant. It's like proper. Yeah. Proof. Nice approver. Nice, and I know you like it because it's black, lah. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> Green. Oh my god, something wrong with my eyes. I really think it's black. Like. It's 100% green. Oh my god. Alright, so it's finally day 5 and I think this challenge really made me kind of like come out of my comfort zone and to dress up and to really like pair my outfits together which I don't usually do. So my final day's outfit is the white floral dress that has a really nice pretty flare at the bottom. I think it's so dainty and it's so demure that it makes everyone who wears it look such like a soft girl, okay? I absolutely love it. It's like... Woo. And the best part about this dress, it has pockets! A dress with pockets is like add a bonus, guys. I think out of all five dresses, this is my most favourite dress. Help guys, it is day 5 of the Cheong Sam challenge and I have decided to come to my boxing gym and now I am in the toilet, I'm stuck because I can't put on this freaking Cheong Sam top because the fabric is so tight See this here Can I just leave it unbuttoned and then say that it's a fashion statement? You see the button here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's too tight, it's too tight! Yeah, can. Okay. Yeah, I can. I can't breathe it. The one can, the one can. Okay, I don't want to bite it. I want to take out the whole thing. <laughs> How you like it or not? I like it. 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 Okay, so what do you think about my outfit? Honestly, it's very beautiful and I love the colour. It's like, it's really, really simple and nice. And you, please tell us Chongsam. Honestly, when I first saw it, yeah, I could see it was Chongsam. Is it because of like, the... I think the pattern, the pattern is the one that really put, like, took me by like, oh, it's the same Chongsam already. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness, I finally made it to my dinner location. And the entire bus right here was just a tragedy because I was sitting in this shirt, right? And it's really the most shirt I've ever worn in my life. If this top was tailored to actually fit my body, I think it would be a lot better. Also, I somehow managed to pick like the worst day to wear this top because I am here for dinner and I think I'm gonna have a pretty big meal. <laughs> I mean it when I said we had a lot of food. It's super tight so honestly I'm just gonna be feeling very uncomfortable but that's what it is. The most common thing about all the Changsams I've worn this whole week is that they are all very comfortable and I'm not sweating buckets because usually Changsam materials make you sweat so much so people don't really want to wear them. So I think this modern Changsam concept is genuinely amazing and I just want to have all of the dresses now. I just want all of this Changsam. Welcome back! 
we are in a safe haven once again. It yes. is the end of the challenge. Finally. <laughs> Finally. It sounded like it was difficult. It wasn't difficult, huh. but I was just very tired of like dressing up constantly. Ah. Yeah. How about for you? Honestly, the biggest challenge was trying to get a reaction from people because a lot of people just looked at me and was like, oh, okay. Oh! Yeah! What? Yeah! Okay. And then sometimes I get the occasional uh, si fa chai. <laughs> I think a big reason why that was the case is also because a lot of the clothing I wore mm-hmm. uh, were designed to be daily wear. Right! You know how um, Grace Yen was saying that she wants this to be clothing that people can wear on the day-to-day and I think that really nailed it lah. Okay, so for me it's like actually the opposite. Okay. So most of my outfits were pretty dressy and pretty fancy, right? I always got stares when I walked out. I'm not surprised lah because <laughs> I think a big reason why is because it's not your ethnic costume. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So that alone is very shocking for people. Yeah. Not in a bad way. Yeah, they just More like... More of like, hey, I hardly see this. Yeah. One of the days, I actually wore my chansam to Gardens by the Bay. Mm. It was like a Chinese New Year exhibition. Okay. So, I had aunties come up to me and like, wow. Very nice eh! So nice! Like, and I was like, wait really? Like, I was so sceptical because I think a part of me was the fear that people might not be comfortable with this. Mm. I think my top favourite right, is the one that I wore on the first day. It's the very colourful, I know, very I know, bright I one. Saw. And I really didn't think that I would like it because I hardly wear anything so loud. Mm. But after I I wore that for one night, right? I realized that now I want my whole wardrobe to look like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching this video, and if you like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below what ethnic clothing you want us to try next, and watch other videos over there. Bye bye! And happy Chinese New Year! <laughs>